Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My students, uh, welcome to the fifth lecture uh, The last lecture, insha'Allah uh, We are uh, talking about, in this lecture uh, We are talking about international law And international organization And human rights في هذه المحاضرة سنتكلم إن شاء الله عن القانون الدولي والمنظمة الدولية وحقوق الإنسان. Uh, the legal terms about this uh, subject. سنأخذ المصطلحات القانونية حول uh, هذه المواضيع والتي إن شاء الله ستفيدكم مستقبلا. Uh, number one, uh, we are talking uh, take international law. International law means القانون الدولي. International law. The legal terms. The legal terms. Uh, look and listen. In the beginning, look and listen. انظر إلى الكلمات واستمع إلى النطق. Look and listen. Public international law. Public international law. Public international law. Rights and duties. Rights and duties. Rights and duties. Mutual relations. Mutual relations. Mutual relations. International institutions. International institutions. Institutions. International institutions international legislation international legislation international legislation convention conventions conventions tribunals Tribunals, tribunals, charter, charter, charter. Also, look at this in external relations, external relations, external relations. Surfing political bodies. Surfing political bodies. Surfing political bodies. Sources of international law. Sources of international law. Sources of international law. International treaties. International treaties. International treaties. International custom. International custom. International custom. Qualification. Qualifications. 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 Capacity. 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 No. You must read and repeat. Read these legal terms. And try to repeat it. الآن اقرأ هذه المصطلحات وكرر قراءتها حتى تتمكن من قراءتها بشكل صحيح. Yes. The first one you can say public international law. Repeat this many times.
Yes, read and repeat also. اقرأ وكرر هذه المصطلحات. External relations. You can repeat it many times. كرر هذه المرات. Now uh, we are thinking about the meaning of these terms. What these legal terms means? ماذا تعني هذه المصطلحات أو معاني هذه المصطلحات في اللغة العربية? Public international law. Public international law means القانون الدولي العام. القانون الدولي العام. Rights and the rights. Rights. And the seeds. Rights and the seeds means تعني حقوق وواجبات. Rights and the seeds. حقوق وواجبات. Rights and the seeds. Mutual relations. Mutual relations means علاقات متبادلة أو علاقات مشتركة. In the world, there is many country. Each country has Uh, mutual relations with the others. كل دولة من الدول معها علاقات متبادلة مع الدول الأخرى. International institutions. International institutions. International institution, uh, institutions means مؤسسات دولية. There is many international institutions. Institutions that control the relations between the states in the world. هناك مؤسسات دولية عالمية تنظم العلاقات بين الدول في العالم. International legislation. International legislation means تشريع دولي. تشريع دولي. International legislation control the relations. Between the states in the world. يعني القانون الدولي أو التشريع الدولي لنظم العلاقات بين الدول. Conventions. Conventions meet means اتفاقيات أو مواثيق. اتفاقيات أو مواثيق أبرمت بين الدول حتى يسيروا عليها. Tribunals. Tribunals. Tribunals means محكمي. Tribunals محكمي. Charter. Charter means ميثاق. Charter ميثاق. Another meanings. External relations. External relations. External relations means يعني العلاقات الخارجية. Sovereign political bodies. Sovereign political bodies. كيانات سياسية كيانات سياسية ذات سيادة. Sources of international law. Sources of international law. مصادر القانون الدولي Sources of International Law International Treaties International Treaties International Treaties means معاهدات دولية تعني معاهدات دولية International Treaties International Custom International Custom International custom عرف دولي. Qualifications. Qualifications. Qualifications means المؤهلات. Capacity. Capacity تعني أهلية. Capacity أهلية. Activity number one. Listen and write 
these legal terms. الآن استمع واكتب هذه المصطلحات في دفترك. Are you ready? هل أنت مستعد؟ Yes, we are start. سنبدأ الآن. ابدأ في الكتابة. Number one. Public international law. Public international law. Public international law. Number two. International institutions. International institutions. International institutions. Number three. International legislation. International legislation. International legislation. Number four. Conventions. 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 Number five. External relations. External relations. External relations. Number six. Sources of international law. Sources of international law. Sources of international law. Now, check your work. Check your work. الآن. اختبر إجاباتك هل هي صحيحة أو صحيحة؟ If your answer are incorrect, you can rewrite the legal terms many times. إذا إجابتك غير صحيحة، أعد كتابة المصطلحات أكثر من مرة. Number one, public international law. Public international law. You can compare this with your answer. قارن هذه الموجودة الآن مع إجابتك إذا إجابتك غير صحيحة أعد كتابتها مرة أخرى نمبر 2 International Institutions International Institutions نمبر 3 International Legislation International Legislation Number four, conventions. Conventions. Number five, external relations. External relations. Number six, sources of international law. Sources of international Look. Look at all these terms. If your answer is are incorrect, you can rewrite the legal terms many times. انظر إلى هذه المصطلحات إذا إجاباتها غير صحيحة حاول تكررها حاول تكررها مرات أخرى. Activity number two. Translate. This legal terms. Translate this legal terms into Arabic. ترجم هذه المصطلحات إلى العربية. Number one, public international law. What means in Arabic? ماذا تعني هذه العربية؟ اكتبها بالتالي. ترجمة العربية Public International Law Number Two International Institutions International Institutions What's mean? ماذا تعني في اللغة العربية International Institutions Number Four External Relations External Relations ماذا تعني في العربية 
Number four, sources of international law. <clears throat> sources of international law. What all the legal terms means in Arabic? ما تعني كل هذه المصطلحات في اللغة العربية. Then, الآن translate these legal terms into English. الآن ترجم هذه المصطلحات إلى اللغة الإنجليزية. تشريع دولي. تشريع دولي. اتفاقيات. معاهدات دولية. عرف دولي. ماذا تعني هذه في اللغة؟ ماذا تعني هذه في اللغة الإنجليزية؟ ماذا تعني هذه المصطلحات في اللغة الإنجليزية؟ حاول توجد معناها. Then definition of international law. تعريف القانون الدولي. Definition of international law. What international mean? ماذا يعني القانون الدولي؟ The public international law may be defined as that body of rules which determine the rights and the duties of states among their mutual relations. Another time, مرة أخرى. Look at this. The public international law. القانون الدولي العام may be defined as ممكن تعرفه that body of rules النوع من ال من القواعد which determine the rights and the duties of state among their mutual relations القواعد التي تدير أو تتحكم بالحقوق والواجبات بين الدول في علاقاتها المتبادلة علاقة المتبادلة من الدول ينظمها القانون الدولي العام the public international law might be defined as that body of rules which determine the rights and duties of states among their mutual relations. هذا هو تعريف القانون الدولي العام. Now we are talking about we are talking about international organization. International organization. المنظمات الدولية. There is many organizations in the world that help the states or people to their life. هناك كثير من المنظمات اللي تساعد الناس وتساعد تساعد الدول في الحياة العامة. The legal terms, المصطلحات القانونية. Look and listen. Look and listen. انظر واستمع جيدا من هذه المصطلحات. International organization. International organization. International organization. International delegation. International delegation. International delegation, organizational structure, organizational structure, organizational structure, United Nation, United Nation. United Nation, the World Bank, the World Bank, the World Bank, contributions, contributions, contributions. Then, now, read and repeat. Read these legal terms and repeat it many times. 
to be a good reader English. اقرأ هذه المصطلحات وكررها عدة مرات حتى تمكن من قراءتها بشكل صحيح. Yes, number one. You can say international organization. Tell that many times. اقرأ هذه المصطلح وكررها عدة مرات. Yes, I read all the these terms. How to read all these terms? Exactly. Now we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. Yes, we are thinking about the meaning of terms. المنظمة الدولية International Organization International Delegation International Delegation International Delegation means تفويض دولي تفويض تفويض دولي Organizational Structure Organizational Structure means الهيكل التنظيمي Organizational, uh, organizational structure of the international organization. Organization. United Nation. United Nation. United Nation. United Nation is organizations or international organization. يعني الأمم المتحدة هي تعتبر واحدة من المنظمات الدولية one of the international organization الفاعلة طبعا international organization the world bank the world bank the world bank means البنك الدولي البنك الدولي the world bank Contributions. Contributions. Contributions means مساهمات. مساهمات. The international organizations bent on contributions of the states in the world. المنظمة الدولية تعتمد على مساهمات الدول في العالم. Contributions to help the other states. يعني to لمساعدة بقية الدول. Now uh, listen and write these legal terms. الآن استمع إلى هذه المصطلحات وحاول كتابتها في دفترك. Write these uh, legal terms in your book. اكتب هذه المصطلحات في دفترك. Are you ready? هل أنت مستعد؟ We are start now. Right. Number one. International organization. International organization. International organization. Number two. International delegation. International delegation. International delegation. Number three. Organ organizational 
structure organizational structure organizational structure number 4 united nation united nation united nation number 5 the world bank the world bank the world bank number 6 contributions 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 now check your work الان اختبر اجابتك او تاكد من اجابتك if your work is incorrect you can rewrite this legal terms many times إذا إجابتك غير صحيحة بإمكانك أن تعيد كتابة هذه المصطلحات مرات أخرى. نمبر 1 International Organization International Organization نمبر 2 International Delegation International Delegation نمبر 3 organizational structure organizational structure number four united nation united nation number five the world bank the world bank number six contributions contributions look all uh, look at all these legal terms if your answer is incorrect you can rewrite the legal terms many times انظر لهذه المصطلحات بشكل جيد اذا اجابتها غير صحيحه حاول ان تكرر او ان تعيد الكتابه مرات عديده Activity number two: Translate these legal terms to Arabic. Translate these legal terms to Arabic. الآن حاول ترجمة هذه المصطلحات إلى اللغة العربية. حاول ترجمة هذه المصطلحات إلى اللغة العربية. Number one, international organization. International organization. What means in Arabic? ماذا عن ماذا عن هذا المصطلح في اللغة العربية? International organization. Organizational structure. Organizational structure. What means? In Arabic, ماذا يعني هذا المصطلح في اللغة العربية? Organizational structure. The World Bank. The World Bank. Now translate these legal terms into English. الآن ترجم هذه المصطلحات إلى اللغة الإنجليزية من اللغة العربية إلى اللغة الإنجليزية. Number one, تفويض دولي. تفويض دولي ماذا يعني في اللغة في اللغة الإنجليزية؟ تفويض دولي ماذا يعني في اللغة الإنجليزية؟ تفويض دولي الأمم المتحدة هذا مصطلح الأمم المتحدة أو المنظمة ماذا تعني في اللغة الإنجليزية؟ أو أو هذا معنى المصطلح في اللغة الإنجليزية مساهمات مساهمات ترجمها إلى اللغة الإنجليزية Now, uh, definition of international organization. Definition we are talking about. Definition of 
international organization the international organization may be defined as may be defined as an organization with global global mandates generally uh, founding by contribution from uh, national government another time the international organization may be defined as an organization with global mandates generally funding by contributions from national government المنظمات الدولية يمكن أن أن نعرفها بأنها منظمات ذات طابع عالمي طابع عالمي تمون غالبا من مساهمات مساهمات حكومات الدول في العالم لأن يعني الدول يقوم مساهمات حتى إيش حتى تكوين هذه المنظمات أمير طايم The international organization may be defined as an, organi an organization with global mandates generally uh, funding by contribution from national government. This is the definition of international organization. Uh, rewrite uh, this uh, definition many times. And uh, try to write it. I will try to write it many times and try to understand this definition. In the last section, uh, uh, parts of this lecture, we are uh, talking about human rights. Human rights. في الجزء الأخير من هذه المحاضرة سنتكلم عن حقوق الإنسان. والمصلحات القانونية المتعلقة بحقوق الإنسان حقوق الإنسان والمصطلحات القانونية المتعلقة بحقوق الإنسان Look at the legal terms that related by human rights انظر إلى المصلحات القانونية المتعلقة بحقوق الإنسان In the beginning uh, uh, we are uh, look and listen Look and listen. Look uh, this uh, legal terms and listen to the sound. Un Universal Declaration. Universal Declaration. Universal Declarations. Human rights. Human rights. Human rights. General standard. General standard. General standard. Civil rights. Civil rights. Civil rights, political rights, political rights, political rights, economic rights, economic rights, economic. Right. Social and culture, cu social and cultural rights. 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 Main principles. Main principles. 
main principles. Look and listen. Discrimination. 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 Human dignity. Human dignity. Human dignity. Equal in dignity and rights. Equal in dignity and rights. Equal in dignity and rights. Political opinion. Political opinion. Political opinion. Life and security. Life and security. Life and security. Liberty and security. Liberty and security. Liberty and security. Personal and legal justice. Personal and legal justice. Personal and legal justice. Protection of the law. Protection of the law. Protection of the law. Now, read and repeat. Read and repeat these legal terms. الآن اقرأ هذه المصطلحة القانونية وكرر قراءتها حتى تتمكن من قراءتها بشكل صحيح. Yes, number one. You can say universal declaration. Universal declaration. Yes, repeat it many times. اقرأها عدة مرات حتى تتمكن من قراءتها. Yes, human rights. Read it. Discrimination. You can't tell. Uh, you can say this uh, legal terms many times. Human dignity.
then we are uh, talking about the meaning of terms what this legal terms means ماذا تعني هذه المصطلحات القانونية universal declaration universal declaration means إعلان عالمي إعلان عالمي universal declaration human rights human rights حقوق الإنسان you can say universal declarations of human rights الإعلان الإعلان العالمي لحقوق الإنسان general standard general standard means معيار عام معيار عام general standard معيار عام civil rights civil rights civil rights means حقوق مدنية civil rights political rights political rights political rights means حقوق سياسية economic rights economic rights economic rights means أو تعني حقوق اقتصادية social and cultural rights social and cultural rights حقوق اجتماعية وثقافية main principles main principles means المبادئ الرئيسية the human rights must include حقوق الإنسان تتضمن the civil rights الحقوق المدنية political rights الحقوق السياسية economic rights الحقوق الاقتصادية and social and cultural rights والحقوق الاجتماعية والثقافية all of this you can see it the human rights كل هذه الحقوق ممكن نسميها ايش حقوق الإنسان look at the other meanings discrimination <coughs> discrimination discrimination means to me the human rights must be uh, dis uh, not discrimination about the human being يعني حقوق الإنسان لا تفرق أو لا تميز ما بين حقوق الإنسان ما بين ما بين البشر أنفسهم discriminations discrimination تمييز human dignity human dignity means الكرامة الإنسانية human dignity الكرامة الإنسانية equal in dignity and rights equal in dignity and rights متساوون في الكرامة والحقوق all the people in the world must be equal in dignity and rights كل الناس في العالم لابد أن يكونوا متساوون في الكرامة والحقوق political opinion political opinion political opinion means رأي سياسي political opinion رأي سياسي life and security life and security life and security means الحياة والأمن life and security liberty and security liberty and security liberty and security means الحرية والأمن الحرية والأمن personal and legal justice personal and legal justice means العدالة الشخصية والجنائية 
personal and legal justice. Protection of the law. Protection of the law means حماية القانون. تعني حماية القانون. Now listen and write these legal terms. الآن استمع واكتب هذه المصطلحات القانونية. اكتبها في دفترك الآن. Are you ready? هل أنت مستعد؟ Yes, we can start now. سنبدأ الآن. Number one, human rights. Human rights. Human rights. Number two, general standard. General standard. General standard. Number three, social and cultural rights. Social and cultural rights. Social and cultural rights. Number four, discrimination. 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 Number five. Equal in dignity and rights. Equal in dignity and rights. Equal in dignity and rights. Now, check your work. الآن اختبر إجابتك. If your work is incorrect, you can rewrite the legal terms many times. إذا إجابتك غير صحيحة بإمكانك أن تعيد كتابة المصطلحات مرات أخرى. Number one, human rights. Human rights. Number two, general standard. General standard. Number three, social and cultural rights. Social and cultural rights. Number four, discrimination. Discrimination. Number five, equal in dignity and rights. Equal in dignity and rights. Look at activity number two. Translate these legal terms to Arabic. ترجم هذه المصطلحات إلى اللغة العربية من اللغة الإنجليزية إلى اللغة العربية. Yes, number one, human rights. Human rights. Main principles. Main principles. Political opinion. Political opinion. Protection. Of the law, protection of the law. Now, translate these legal terms into English. The answer is that these terms are in the English language. Declaration of the United Kingdom. Rights of the people. Recognition. Now, we are. Take definition of the human rights. ماذا يعني أو تعريف حقوق الإنسان؟ ماذا نعني بحقوق الإنسان؟ Human rights in in general are the rights inherent in human nature, and without it, we cannot live in dignity as a human beings. Another time, مرة أخرى. Human rights in general are the rights Inherent in human nature, nature, and without it, we cannot live. We cannot live in dignity as human beings. حقوق الإنسان تعني في معظمها الحقوق المرتبطة بطبيعة الإنسان. وبغير هذه الحقوق لا يمكننا أن نعيش في هذه الحياة. 
Another Another time, human rights in general are the rights inherent in human nature, and without it, we cannot live in dignity as a human beings. Uh, this is the last of the lecture. Uh, I hope uh, to be understand all of the lectures carefully. نتمنى أن تكونوا استفدتم من جميع المحاضرات لهذا العام